guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time i post a video so for today's video as you can see i have my hair done my makeup done and i have on something in the red family and that's because it is a valentine's day makeup look and if you are wondering or if you didn't have any ideas of what you wanted to do for valentine's day i hope you guys give this look a try and i hope you guys enjoy this video so if you want to see how i got this look make sure you stay tuned and watch the rest of the video hi welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in to another video so for today's video i am going to be creating a valentine's day look so whether you are spending it alone or spending it with someone else you know for valentine's day you do want to look beautiful and feel beautiful so if you want to create a look just to take pictures in um this could possibly be the look for you and if you want to you know jazz up your look a little bit this year this may be the look for you as well so for today's look i'm gonna be creating something around a red or cherry shade usually people typically go for the pink but because i have already done a pink look last week i'm going to create something with a plum color or a cherry color um is very appropriate for valentine's day as well red and pink so if you are interested in getting this look then keep on watching so first i'm going to go in with my fenty beauty primer so i'm not going to be using my drugstore products today my nyx born to glow i'm going to be using my fenty beauty products today i really like this uh foundation and primer because i am very oily and this product helps control that so now that we have our primer applied i'm going to go in with my fenty beauty foundation and this is in the shade 420 So now that we have our foundation applied, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Concealer and this is in the shade 360. And I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and blend that in. So now that I have my concealer um, blended out, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Setting Powder and Translucent. And now that I have that uh, set, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Setting Powder in the shade Hazelnut to set the rest of my face that I didn't highlight. And so now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer and this is in the shade Coco Naughty. So 
So now that the face is complete, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So now we're gonna move on to the eyes. And today I'm gonna go through three different palettes to achieve the look that I want. I'm gonna take a couple of shades from my Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette and i'm gonna take a shadow from my anastasia beverly hills palette by jackie anna and then i'm gonna take my dose of colors from cation palette by desi and katie um i'm gonna take all three of those palettes and use different tones and shades from each of the palette so the first palette i'm gonna go in with is the violet Vaz pro eyeshadow palette and this is what the palette looks like so from this palette, I'm gonna go in with the shade Brownie Points to start off in my crease. Oh yeah, and by the way, I know I didn't mention in the beginning of the video, but I already did my brows and I used my um, Fenty Beauty Brow MVP um, pencil in the shade Black Brown. And then I went in with a little bit of powder on my brows using my MAC Cosmetics Brow um, Studio Kit. So I just wanted to let you guys know that So next, I am going to go in with this shade right here, and it's called Teddy Bear. So I wanted to let you guys know that I do plan on posting a vlog soon. And the reason why I wanted to post a vlog is because I really enjoy watching um, vlogs on YouTube and I enjoy getting to know the people that I watch a little bit more on a personal level. So I may start off watching someone's channel because of their beauty content, but then if they have like a separate channel and I enjoy what I see from the beauty videos, uh, just from the little bit of what I get off of that, then I may go check it out. Or if they do uh, eventually start posting vlogs, I get, you know, intrigued and I want to see a little bit from other people's world. And I enjoy watching vlogs on YouTube. So I thought, why not get a little bit more personal with you guys? from time to time, just to show a little bit of what I do when I actually do have something to do. So this particular vlog that I'm gonna post is gonna be a compilation of um, what I'm gonna be doing next week as far as going to a Galentine's, um, I guess you can call it an event. Um, my in-law, she works at a boutique and for Christmas, they did a Christmas um, little event where you can come in and they had certain clothes. Well, not certain clothes. They had like the entire store for 15 or 20% off. And so when I went, I really enjoyed myself. I had a good time. Um... I actually had such a good time that I was encouraging people to buy things and I actually spent a little bit of money as well, which was not the plan at all. So if you don't know, uh, boutiques clothes are priced a little bit more higher than the normal as far as like if you go to the mall or something and you probably know how much something would cost, but it is a boutique. They do have items that once they kind of go out, they usually they don't reorder the same thing or they don't get the same shipment of the same things coming into the store. So 
you may be one of the few people in your area that have a certain item, which is pretty cool. Um, and also the quality of the clothes from this particular boutique, their quality is very, very good. Like it's very comfortable. The Some of the items are like smooth feeling, like their jeans are stretchy. Most of their clothes, the materials are very stretchy. So I really do like that about the store. And this time I'm not gonna go crazy. Hopefully I won't go a little bit overboard like I did for the Christmas um, event, but it already have my eye on something. And for this particular event, they're gonna have everything 15% um, off. My goal is to not leave out of there with more than two items. And so now I'm gonna go in with my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I am going to take this shade right here, Wigglies. And so I'm going to apply that first and then I'm going to go on top of that shade with a, um, a shimmery shadow. And so another thing that you guys will see on the vlog is me and my in-law going to find something for me to wear to an event that we have this month also with our company. Um... I'm going to try to find me an outfit to wear for that. And I'm going to also try to find something to wear for Valentine's Day as well. And probably going to go and shop for makeup. And we plan to have a girls night and go out for dinner. So that's just some of the things that you can look forward to when I post this vlog. So now I'm going to go in with my Desi and Katie Friends Cation palette and I'm going to take this shade right here and it's called Try Me. I'm going to go in with a different brush. So I also want to go in with this shade right here called Girl By, and I'm gonna put that like on the outer part of my eye. I do want to go back in and like deepen my crease a little bit more. So I am going to take the shade Teddy Bear again and try to deepen up my crease a little bit more. So now I'm going to go in with my Hollywood and Vine eyeliner in the black shade. So now I'm going to go back in with my Desi and Katie Friends Cation palette. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that shade Girl Bye on my lower line. Then I'm going to go in with Try Me and put it towards the front part of my waterline. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to highlight with my Becca highlighter in the shade Chocolate Geo. So I also applied some of the highlighter in the corners of my eyes as well. So now I'm going to apply my lashes and then I'll be right back. So now that I have my lashes applied, I'm gonna go in with some mascara. For the top lashes, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Better Than Sex uh, mascara. And then for the bottom lashes, I'm gonna try this mascara. I never tried it before. It's the Wander Beauty Unleash Volume and Curl Mascara. So I'm gonna use this on the bottom lashes. 
So now that I have the face completed, I'm going to go in with my favorite lip combo, my KKW Nude 3 lip liner, and then the lipstick in the shade Nandi Style. So now that I have my face complete, I'm going to go in and set my face and I will be right back. So this is my completed look. I hope you guys like this look. Um, definitely might be a look for Valentine's Day for me, depending on what color I'm wearing. Um, I'm actually really, really, really excited about how this look came out. And if you are wondering about my hair, I did a twist out on my hair. Um, I haven't done a twist out in so long, but because I got like a fresh trim, uh, I thought that I should give it a try and see how it comes out, especially with my new hair color. I want to kind of style it a little bit more because before I was just wearing it in buns all the time. So now that I have this color, I kind of felt a little inspired and motivated to do something with my hair. And I, this is actually second day hair. I like how it's how it is the second day. However, I really don't care for side parts but it kind of happened that way on accident and I didn't want to take it apart and redo it again. But other than that, I definitely will be doing more twist outs in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you are not subscribed just yet. And make sure you watch my videos that I have previously posted and like and comment on those as well. And actually leave a comment on this video as well. And if you are not already, make sure you follow me on my Instagram at Destiny and Co and join the family and thank you so much for tuning into this video i can't wait to see you guys in the next one bye